Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Hosanna David. I have a word of encouragement for someone today. A lot of people are aspiring to be big people. Some want to be doctors, lawyers, engineers, presidents, you know, men of God, prophets, bishops. But because of their current situation, they deviate from preparing their future today. What am I saying? For instance, if somebody lives by the pressure and the situation of today alone and never live in their tomorrow, today, they may make mistakes. And by the time they get to tomorrow, they will discover that though the opportunity has come, they never prepared a future, the grant for the future they so much are waited for. For instance, if somebody serves jail terms today, probably he'd been aspiring to become a president tomorrow. But if he commits a crime today, he will become an ex-convict. So what I tell people is that whatsoever thing you want to be tomorrow, start living that life today if you want to be a doctor tomorrow start living like a doctor today whatsoever thing you aspire to be tomorrow start living it now you haven't been there but let it consume the whole of your heart tell yourself this is my dream people who don't live out their dreams even when the time of their dream has not actually come they are likely to step aside and fail from pursuing their dreams if you want to be a, a, a pastor tomorrow start living the life right now start practicing it right now don't wait till tomorrow before you start living out your life start your tomorrow is now start living the future now my advice for you is that don't be consumed by your present situation. Don't look around yourself and see the poverty and see the helplessness you are in. Because you need to survive your mind. You need to prepare your mind. You need to, even if you are not happy today, don't allow the unhappiness to creep into your mind and make you give up. You can be living in today while practicing tomorrow and also allowing your mind to travel to tomorrow. So there may be things surrounding you that are not good today. Probably you have no money, you're struggling, you're suffering, so much stress, so much discouragement, no help. But if you dwell on your present situation, you may not get to tomorrow because you may even develop high blood pressure, you may develop some kind of diseases because uh, dwelling on your uh, allowing your mind and your actions to dwell on your uh, yeah, unfavorable situation may deter you and even harm your health. So you take your mind to tomorrow, look at a doctor you want to become, look at a lawyer, look at the man of God you want to become, and let your joy flow from that tomorrow into today so that you can get more strength. Remember Joseph. Joseph uh, knew that the moon, the sun, 11 stars would, uh, are going to bow down to him. And he, even when he was offered uh, a, a beautiful woman on a platter of gold, he said, no, I can't do this. Because he never saw himself as a slave. He was seeing himself as somebody whose parents and brothers are going to bow down to. So he already saw himself as a leader and not as a slave. Slaves can easily take anything because they have very low self-esteem, but he wasn't living in his present time. He was already living in his future. That was why he did not mess up himself. Had it been, he said, well, I'm on a race slave. Why not I just do it? And uh, bow to the pressure of Potiphar's wife. He wouldn't have become a prime minister that he was. I don't know the situation you are. Uh, in right now but i tell you stop living in today's uh unfavorable unfavorable situation transport yourself to tomorrow import the joy of tomorrow into today and not just that too start refining your actions to blend with what you are aspiring to be tomorrow if you do not fail god will definitely get you there don't let anything discourage you don't forget that carrying god alone 
Going with God will definitely help you to become what you want to be. It's not just by aspiring and doing everything that I've just said you need to do, but you also need to abide in Christ so that God himself can help you overcome all the challenges of today and help you to become what he wants you to be tomorrow. And also remember that there are powers of darkness in this world. If you are not in God, no matter how much you try, you are not going to succeed because our success without God uh, will not last. So I encourage you that you never give up. Don't let anything discourage you, not even what you're passing through right now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hosanna E. E. David, Hosanna David, and uh, follow me on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, Hosanna E. E. David, that is Hosanna David, and also Eagle Eye Opener. God bless you. Bye-bye.